Hey guys, Key Litho here. I'm outside my front yard. Got something cool to show you. Should be showing up any second now. As you can tell from the title of this video, we have a DJI Phantom 3 Professional with a RGB LED ring light. And to go with that ring light, we have a 3D printed case, which doubles as a bracket. So it clips on to the, to the legs here of the quadcopter. Um, this also has a 1000 milliamp lithium ion battery, as well as a 5 volt micro USB charging point. And this is the RGB LED controller. So we have forward and back, which just cycles through the different modes one way or the other, as well as a speed in the middle. And then we have a switch up here in the front. And then you can see the greatness that this light is. <laughs> and I can't even tell you how many modes there are. I will put the link in the description below to all these parts. So if you want to try to put one of these rings together yourself, it is pretty cool flying around at night. And I will roll in some footage here of night flying, which isn't very good because, well, it was at night and the camera just kept blurring out. But you can see it really well in person, so that is pretty cool. There were some other people walking around my neighborhood when I was flying it. They were thinking it was pretty awesome as well. So I think this project was a great success. And um, yeah, so I have some footage from Eric in the past. So I'm going to send you over to him now. All right. Thanks for the overview. Eric from the future. That gives me much more confidence in this pile of parts that I have here. So first of all, let's go over the control box with the mounts. And I don't have that big a 3D printer, so I can only print 100 millimeter square. That's why it's kind of busted up into three pieces here. So, you know, these, these all three printed at separate times, and then the lid goes on top. So basically all of these parts are going to fit in here. So we're gonna have the battery sitting in here like this. We got this little lithium charger sitting like this. Here's our little boost converter. It's gonna kick it up to five volts. The control board is gonna sit like this. The switch is gonna go right over there. And then the lid is going to cap this whole project off. So you can see here, we'll have the buttons, the switch, access to the USB charger, and hopefully all will be good with the world. So let's go over these components. First of all, we have a thousand milliamp lithium polymer battery. Um, got this off of Hobby King. It's only a couple bucks. I'll try to find a link to this exact battery. I think it's still available. Next we have this lithium ion single cell charger. Um, it's a lot of people call it like an 18650 charger or you know just single cell 1S LiPo charger. So basically this thing has some overcurrent protection and under or voltage drop protection I guess is what you'd call it. So basically you hook the battery to the middle two spots out to your device so the battery's running through the circuitry out to the device. You put your well I guess you can put 5 volts here or 5 volts from the micro USB, which is how I plan on charging this thing. Now, off of that end, we're going to run into this little board, which is a 3 volt to 5 volt boost converter, basically. So this takes a single cell lithium battery and it allows you to charge a cell phone or a device on it. Um, it did have a USB module. Actually, I have one right here. This is the way it came, and basically I just snipped it off and desoldered it since this is a bit bulky and I'm not using the USB port. But this does charge at one amp, or it puts out one amp of current, and I did verify that, so it actually does, which is pretty nice. So, um, and then basically off of that boost board, or the boost converter, I'm going to, you know, hook this up to it. And then this basically 
ties onto the ring of RGB LEDs. Now these are actually consists of four parts. They came like this. Um, there was one more on here. This one only has three hooked on right now. So they came together like this. Uh, I can't remember how much it was, like 12 or 15 bucks or something from China. 20 bucks if you get one already in the States. So yeah, basically solder those together. And um, I'll show you here how I soldered them together. Um, basically, just with a couple jumper pins, basically. Um, these things line up, you know, just from one of these lines up good, solder three on, slide the plastic off, solder the other three on. And then you got it in a circle. We already know it works, thanks to Eric from the future. And, um, yeah, let's assemble this real quick.